I'm the Director of Outreach and Education at the Virginia Center for Digital History at the University of Virginia, and um, our center is squarely located in the College of Arts and Sciences, not the School of Education, and, and I think that's probably an important element in, in describing all of the work that we do in outreach as ideally a bridge between historian and practitioner, academic content and best practice, the, the historians ideally are prompted to really think through their own craft, um, think about their teaching of a topic as well as their knowledge of a topic, and that the practitioners or the teachers or the educators see themselves as maybe not the same experts as the person in front or the person with, but as experts nonetheless. And so this sort of collegial relationship over time is built so that it's not me, the student, listening to you tell me something and I write it down and we all walk away, but rather a conversation. And, and maybe for me, at the heart of all successful TH projects or other outreach projects is that, that sense that good professional development is a good conversation, one that is provocative on both sides and leaves as many questions as answers and then continues. The most valuable of the projects um, lead teachers down a path in which they're not just participating and attending, but they're actually engaging in and creating something new. There, there's some sort of transformation. And I, I think in looking at lessons learned over time, that, that transformation at the beginning is very personal. It's that sort of personal transformation that I bet you'll hear from a lot of TH projects, you know, teachers who leave and they're high-fiving each other and they feel great about it. Um, historians who leave and say, wow, I had a greatest audience ever and they were engaged and they asked questions. So my lesson learned, I, I guess, to start with would be that the personal transformation happens first. That then affects the, the practical transformation, which then affects the student learning. And it's a much larger process than, 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 um, than just sort of the sit and get professional development that a lot of teachers are used to.